Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video I will be showing you how to get NVIDIA's new freestyle feature in GeForce Experience. What this means is you will be able to apply cool filters to your games. For example here is a screenshot of Arc and the second section has a cartoony sort of filter and the next one along is grey which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead now and download the drivers which will Will allow us to have this feature. To get NVIDIA Freestyle all you need to do is open up your GeForce Experience then you need to go to the top right hand corner and click on settings. Once you're in settings you need to enable the experimental feature and once you have done this you now need to go to drivers. Once you are on drivers you need to press check for updates and you need to download the latest driver, which is here at the top. You now need to go ahead and press Express Installation. Once GeForce Experience has finished updating all your drivers and you have restarted your computer, you should now have the release highlights. We can now press close, that means everything's all working fine. If we go to our settings and just go across to our drivers, you can see that I have the latest version, which is 390.65. But the freestyle feature is available for any version above 390. As long as you have the GeForce Experimental features enabled, I'm now going to jump into a game and show you the new features. Once you are in a supported game for NVIDIA Freestyle, I will put the link in the description below to all the games that are supported, you can press Alt and F3. Now you will have the game filter on the left hand side. You can save up to 3 styles, I'm going to go ahead and go on to style 1. Now below you have your filters, as you can see there's quite a big list of filters you can add. For example if I go on to special FX and press the plus sign, I can now press the down arrow and I can adjust it. For example here I have a sketch thing, which I think looks pretty funky but also it looks awesome. It really does look cool. We can also change the colour enhancer. There's, there's just so many different options you can play around with. Let's go ahead and try something else. To remove the effect you can just simply press delete. You can then go ahead and add something else. For example here we have black and white. Let's go ahead and add that. And straight away as you can see it's now changed the game to black and white. But you can also add multiple filters. I can now go down and let's just go back onto our special FX and press plus. We could then also turn this to our little cartoony sketch but it's still in black and white. I think personally it really is cool and I like this new feature that NVIDIA have rung out. You can also play around with these filters to give you more benefits when you're in say a FPS game because you could change the brightness and the contrast so you can see your enemy players easier if they're in a dark area which obviously it is a bit cheating. That does bring me to the end of this tutorial. I hope it helped. If it did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.